My name is Sweetie. I'm 10 years old. I live in the Philippines. Every day, I have to sit in front of the webcam and talk to men. Sweetie looks, talks and acts like a young girl. And on a grainy webcam from the other side of the world, she lures in paedophiles. On public chat rooms, adult webcam sites, social networking sites, other sites, predators from wealthy countries are paying to watch and direct children from least developed countries to perform live sex shows via webcam. Paedophiles, of course, have a dark secret. And Sweetie has secrets of her own. As soon as I go online, they come to me. Ten, hundred, every hour. So many. But what they don't know, I'm not real. Sweetie was created by a Dutch charity, Terre des Hommes, to flush out online child abusers across the globe. It claims to have tracked down a thousand paedophiles in 65 countries. And the former head of the UK's Child Exploitation Prevention Unit, Jim Gamble, says it's a clear message to online abusers. People in the UK today, predators who've been on sites engaging young people who they think are sitting in a vulnerable location many thousands of miles away, are actually going to be sitting in trepidation tonight, worrying about the knock on the door in the morning. That's going to give them pause for thought before they go back online and engage those children again. So it's one of the most active and high profile deterrents that I've seen in a long time. The Child Exploitation and Online Protection Centre here in the UK is aware of the problem of web streaming child sex abuse. And earlier this year, a man from Kettering, Timothy Ford, was convicted of paying a Filipino family for online sex shows involving their young sons, one of whom was just six years old. Ted Aizom has handed its findings over to Interpol, though some critics say that in going public before any arrests have been made may allow offenders to destroy the evidence of their online child abuse. David Bowden, Sky News.